So I know it's been a year since I've done one of these how it's really made videos, but I promise it will not be another year until the next one, and here's why. Um, the podcast, great as it is, isn't really successful. Whereas my, you know, uh, short form comedy videos on the Glossy News channel, youtube.com slash Glossy News, those are, you know, huge. So, uh, without further ado, here is my latest How It's Really Made video about GMO crops. Check it out. GMO foods done do a hot topic. So where is it come from? Brought to you by Monsanto. Inside the laboratory. To get GMO wheat, they start with fish braked artist Asian anal breeds. Then place it in this recookifier to reconstipate the parts. Once it's no longer gilder and brown, they take it out of the knot ovens and repair the crakes with this special tool. It is placed on timeout rakes to simmer down and think about what they done. This man is some kind of retarded wizard. A gas of proprietary chemicals is sucked into the chamber of secretes. Powder is deinstalled and more slices and fistures are paged up. The doughy substance contains non-GM hose that need to be rubbed off by hand. Then recombined with larger segments for ease of handlings. Bit by bit, this material is sucked off into this de-roller to revert it back to a more natural state, like Utah. Workers then place these larger casings into flat pails where BPA can soak into the mix, permanently altering the DNA. Larvae remove air packets from the coagulate to improve efficiency and reduce the cost to transport. The hot, gooey load is manhandled before being sucked up into a bin. The operating temperature in the GMO theater is just over 100 degrees, though our legal department won't let us say if that's 100 degrees Fahrenheit or tardigrade. It moves on 180 degrees to the Kelvin Coolidge sector. The putty disintegrates into a washy slurry from which powders and liquids can easily be extracted. Elements are further reduced by sheer force as you can see this man tool graping them down to their essential bits and pieces. It may look gross, but it's only toxic to members of the animal kingdom. Naturally occurring chalk is sucked from the mix using this special tube hole and water is removed as well. The mixture is whipped and beaten like a noob in Call of Duty, with extra parts being sucked off by what experts call dynamooter. More components are identified, separated, and removed on the way to leaving only the GMO seeds. Let's take this outside. A special truck called a pentadigital tow sucker transfers the seeds for use in a roofless laboratory some call nature. Retreating John Deere D combines plant up to 300 billion seeds per hour, ensuring a bountiful harvest as well as colony collapse disorder. Once the seeds have been properly soil ejaculated, the fields are rendered fallow to prevent weeds, seed eagles, and rodents from mooching off the land. This mound farm sits atop an active volcano flow, as well as an engine burial ground. The equipment used looks like a robo-exterminator designed to end human life, and that's pretty much what it is. Soon, it will turn slightly green before being plowed under thanks to USDA grants designed to ensure the world doesn't have too much food. But the amount paid in federal subsidies for not farming is based on how much they could have grown. So the farmers come out the biggest winners, thanks to Monsanto. This man will destroy enough crops to feed the whole of Burundi for four months this week alone. What they grow is worth more than life or gold, and thanks in part to the color, they call these seeds 
blood diamonds. So next time you see some Monsanto protesters, you tell those commie summer bitches that you can't spell U.S. of A without G, M, and a whole lot of O. Check out some of our other How Really Do videos about things like chicken nuggets, frank wieners, proper condom usage, Coca-Cola Fairlife milk, and Twankies. And don't forget to subscribe. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything, so, so really you should just do it. I mean, I would. And suggest what else you'd like to learn about in the comments below. And if you want me to say some word or phrase over the credits of the next video, post that in the comments too. So yeah, pretty much that. Alright, well you know, let's move on to a hot stream.